Alright, so in this one we're going to build a nice little audio playlist based on the combo box component and we're going to be using a slider component to control the volume of the audio. Alright, so this should be fairly painless, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hop into the files that you downloaded and of course I'm sure you've seen this already. I've got an idea that this will only be one part, maybe 30 to 45 minutes. This isn't too uh, difficult, so we'll go ahead and uh, hop right into these source files. In this extra finished files, what you're going to find are any of my original original testing files. Sometimes throughout these, I like to change the, change up the code. So basically, you're going to find everything in this file right here that I tested as far as working with the combo box component for creating audio and stuff like that. On top of uh, any extra FLAs that I throw in here, plus XML files that you know really are in here in case you know you have an accident and erase some of the uh, code or something, you can always re refer to these for backup. Of course, we've got the uh, MP3 folder in here, all right? Just a few of them. They've been cut down a little bit, and the file size is very light on these, so it's a good thing. Okay, and this one right here, this will be the FLA file that I'm going to be working on throughout the tutorial, as well as the progress files. Now, of course, this is only going to be one part, so all you're going to have is a part one start and a part one finished. Okay, so if you extracted the folder, the entire folder, you'll be able to work inside of this if you want to uh, get started inside of this, all right? And again, my XML file that I'll be working on throughout the tutorial. What we need to do to start this off is actually get into our components. So go ahead and come up here to Window and select Components. And the first thing we need to pull out is the button. We're going to set this up to be an actual stop button. All right, grab the combo box, set this up out here somewhere. And we need the uh, slider component. So just drag this out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this up a little bit. I'm just going to stretch this out, line it up a little bit. Uh, is that all right? There we go. Okay, I'm going to slide this up a little bit. also going to stretch this out just a tad. Right, just, of course, make sure it's in your library. Okay, good to go. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is get our property panel out here. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the right layer. I'm just going to throw this down here. All right, and what we need to do is give each of these instance names. That way you'll know what we're referring to inside of the uh, actions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the slider component. I'm going to call this vol underscore slider. Grab this uh, label button right here. Let's call this uh, stop underscore btn. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to call the combo box tracks underscore in underscore CB for a combo box. So we're all set with that. And the next thing we need to do is just go ahead and get rocking inside of our actions. All right, so I'm going to grab my actions layer right here. I'm just going to hop up in here and open this up. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is actually import all of the uh, items that we need for the combo box and the audio to work. All right, so we're going to say import flash dot net dot asterisk semicolon import flash dot media dot asterisk semicolon import fl dot events slider event semicolon import uh, let's see flash dot events dot event semicolon import flash dot media dot sound channel semicolon import fl dot controls dot button semicolon import fl dot controls dot base button now the base button isn't that important I'm just you know throwing this in here really so you know what it somewhat references uh, basically, when you select on the combo box, that's really the base button, all right? There's other ways for me to define that, but for what we're doing in here, it's basically what it is. Every time you select down on the combo box or drop the menu open, base button. And that's it. So uh, what we need to do first is go ahead and set up a few variables. We need to uh, name the sound, the sound channel, and what is going to end up being our playlist. So to start this off, we're going to say var snd colon sound semicolon var snd underscore channel colon sound channel 
semicolon, next line, volume underscore transform equals new sound transform, opening, closing parentheses, semicolon. Now, what this is, is basically what we're going to be able to reference to control the level of the volume by using the slider component. All right, so the uh, next line, we're going to say var playlist colon XML semicolon next line var XML underscore loader equals new URL loader opening closing parentheses semicolon all right we're just naming what we're going to use to uh, load in our XML and that's exactly what we're going to start doing here in a second uh, so let's hop down here okay let's go ahead and reference our XML loader XML underscore loader dot load opening parentheses new URL request opening parentheses opening quotation marks and we're going to name this our actual XML file name so I'm just going to say playlist dot XML closing quotation marks closing parentheses closing parentheses semicolon and of course this is another one of those instances where you could put your direct file path okay let's uh, I'm just going to keep it local All right, so the next step is what we want it to do once the XML file is completed, has completed loading. So we're gonna say function when underscore XML underscore load underscore is underscore complete. I know that's a long name, but explains it pretty well. Event, colon, event, closing parentheses, colon, void, opening bracket, next line. And what we need to tell it here is basically what each target is going to be inside of the XML. So what we're going to say is if opening parentheses, another opening parentheses, event dot target as URL loader, closing parentheses, we're going to say is as in explanation point equals null, closing parentheses, opening bracket, next line. All right, we're going to reference our playlist. Playlist as in what this is right here, not our file name. All right, playlist equals uh, new XML opening parentheses XML loader dot data closing parentheses semicolon next line. All right, here is where we're, we're going to basically attach our playlist to our combo box. All right, so we need to say here is for opening parentheses var playlist string and the string is going to be what actually holds the data of our XML all right so we're going to say playlist string in playlist dot tracks closing parentheses opening bracket next line we're going to say var next underscore child uh, equals playlist dot tracks uh, let's see opening straight bracket and we're going to reference our playlist string playlist underscore string closing straight bracket semicolon next line we're going to say tracks underscore in underscore CB dot add item opening parentheses opening bracket label colon next underscore child dot label comma data uh, colon uh, what is this next underscore child dot path closing bracket closing parentheses semicolon next line closing bracket we can go ahead and close this all the way down all right so basically what we're doing here is what we're saying is when the XML is done loaded or done loading okay we're basically setting up each target as a part of what's the URL all right so we're gonna take our playlist variable for our XML basically tell it that it's new XML and it's gonna be looking for data Okay, and basically what we're going to do here is for our playlist, we're creating a string that is going to hold on to our actual data. Now, the data that it's looking for inside of our playlist is our tracks, all right? And, of course, if you remember what this is, obviously, inside of our XML file, we are referencing what the data is inside of here.